Salutations, respected viewers. I am George from Ireland. Here I am in Moscow. And behind me, you can see that gorgeous yellow wedding cake of a house, an early 19th century construction. Uh, I'm filming it because that is the house where Alexander Herzen lived from um, 1843 to 1846. So Herzen was born in uh, 1812 here in Moscow and um, his uh, father was a Russian nobleman, his uh, mother was a German uh, maidservant. Uh, there was a significant German community here right up until the 1990s. Most of them come here with Catherine the Great, of course, was a German princess. But um, anyway, so he's born outside of wedlock, which was a stigma at the time, um, and he was given that surname Herzen, as in Hartz in German. That wasn't the surname of either his mother or his father. But um, despite having been conceived the wrong part of the side of the blanket, he still grew up in considerable comfort. Remember, this is a time when most people didn't get to go to school at all. Um, but he was not so favoured as his father's legitimate progeny. Um, anyhow, so he was attracted to revolutionary Nostra. He was born, 1812, the year he was born is actually when Napoleon, uh, La Grande Armée, came here to Moscow. And um, his family was allowed to leave by Napoleon in return for um, carrying a, a letter to uh, the Russian Tsar. Alexander I, hoping to parley with them and uh, make peace. Obviously didn't come to that. Um, the, the French were comprehensively defeated two years later at the Battle of Leipzig in Germany, the Battle of Nations. But that's another story. So um, Herzen grew up in uh, privileged circumstances here in Moscow, and he was attracted to revolutionary uh, notions. And there's a time when there was an absolute monarchy here. And uh, because he was a young man, 1848, the year of revolutions, he got himself into trouble by criticizing the Tsar, was briefly jailed, was exiled, um, but was let out. He had friends in high places. He moved to the West. He helped form, form, uh, found Kolokol, The Bell, as in a revolutionary uh, Russian uh, newspaper printed in London because London had very extensive freedom of expression, part of a tiny but noisy uh, Russian emigre community in the United Kingdom, and it was smuggled back into Russia. Obviously had almost no purchase in the popular mind, so it's not that many people can read. Very few copies got through. The um, Ochrana, that's uh, the uh, Secret Service, they managed to intercept many of them. Um, anyway, he uh, later moved to Paris, where indeed he died in 1870, just before the Paris Commune came around. So he's seen by many as the, the father of social democracy in Russia, an inspiration to Bolsheviks and other leftists in general, though he's not uh, responsible for their extrapolations from his teachings when it went uh, terribly wrong. He probably would have regarded them as being delinquent. Uh, what else about him? So yeah, he's buried over there in France, not in Paris where he died, but in the south. Um, so I filmed his house in London, so I thought how apposite to film his house in Moscow. This is not actually the one he was born in. Unfortunately, it's not open to the public. So here we are just behind Arbat, or Stary Arbat as it's sometimes known, perhaps the most celebrated pedestrian street in Moscow.